annoyed when you can't get Wi-Fi, so you turn off your Wi-Fi, so you get 3G or 4G, and then forget to put the Wi-Fi back on and have it running on 3G or 4G for a couple of days. So you use loads of credit. Yeah, that's 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 what's happened. Check. Anyway, let's be happy because it's a brilliant week. I saw Life on the Road with Ricky Gervais, David Brent last night. I've got SummerSlam and I'm getting married this week. I can't, I can't argue about that. Guess what, I've got a list of stuff. I've got to go and pick up some juice for uh, Gemma. I've got to pay off the suit and go and see if mine's ready, which it should be for the wedding. You won't be able to see that, sorry. And I had a meeting this morning, which went on for pretty much most of the morning. I've had some design work to do, and I've been speaking to a guy in the business. There's a new project happening, which I'm involved in. Can't say much about it just yet. It's very, it's, well, I can't put it into words. I am really, really excited about it. And so is the person that's doing it with me, along with a few other people. So I'll tell you about it as soon as I can. I hate that. A bit like Facebook and those vague statuses. Oh no, I can't believe that's just happened. What's the matter, babe? Shut up. Anyway, I've got to go to town and start working on my list. Oh, oh, look. <laughs> there he is, finally on the vlog. Are you in? Is this that? That's the YouTube audience. It's not very many of them, is there? All right, well, don't say, <laughs> I'm not going to say, but you've got secret plans for <laughs> the Tony James show. We're going to meet up, beautiful. aren't we? Yeah, and we're going to have a bit of fun. But what's, uh, just oh, what's going on just... here? What's what? Oh, no. What? Yes. No. You interrupted. No. Don't. What? <laughs> What? I, I, just, I just what? said to Gemma, if Rich hadn't have charged me that much, I said I was going to give you 20 quid. <laughs> just had some money for the God. wedding. Thank okay, you, my lovely. You fantastic Thank you. Who was that? <laughs> oh, one of Richard's clients who works with Gemma. Do you know what? I've been running around. I've not been filming much because I've been trying on the wedding suits. I don't want this audience to see the wedding suits, but they've got to get a size up in the waistcoat. Yes, there's a waistcoat. See, Andy can wear anything. I mean, look at him. He's a specimen. Look at that. See me, nothing fits like a normal person. So I'm gonna nip down there again and try that out. And we have got something lined up that will happen on the YouTube channel with this man here. I'll give you a clue. He's quite technical. <gasps> oh, we're gonna scare him. Oh. What an unbelievable day. I'm not joking you. I've got some stuff that I needed to get, but I have spent hours in the soup shop. Is it a bit windy up here? Sorry if it is. I spent hours in the soup shop where we've got our wedding suits trying on different things and it seemed that possibly weren't all the right sizes so hopefully they'll have them in by midweek. I said as long as they're sorted by the wedding day then that's absolutely fine. What a nightmare. Oh man. Right, I'm home. People have said, oh, getting married, it's stressful. And so far, it's not been, and we've managed to keep it pretty calm and sensible and no stress. And I, for one, have said, I'm not getting stressed about it. And what will be, will be. There's nothing to stress about. But these suits today have really stressed me out. I've not filmed much of being out and about because the majority has been in a suit shop trying out suits and things that don't fit. It's driving me mad. I've managed to go and get Hogan some stuff. I've got Gemma's stuff. I've bought myself a little something that's gonna help me out. Remember earlier I was talking about a project? Very excited about. I bought something that might help with that. I'll tell you all about it when I can. But today, I'm just a little bit stressed and it's getting on in the day. Gemma's not home till late because she's gotta go and do someone's hair after work. I've not eaten a thing all day. I'm starving. I'm gonna get something to eat. Oh, ridiculous. I think it's been two days now, and I've just noticed this. Mothy McMoth don't move, whatever it was we called him. He's still there, but he has moved to just gone 12 o'clock, and some flowers that someone's brought us, and a, and a lovely vase. Lovely that is, isn't that? That's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it weird how a day can change? I'm sorry if I seem a bit, but this morning, great news, great meeting, great upcoming project, and then this afternoon, the suits and stuff, has just put me over the edge. Do you know what I mean? I'm just a bit... Oh. And I know it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But until it's fine, you're like, what's the word? I think it's more frustration. I just want it to be right. If I was the perfect figure, then everything will be fine. Another good reason I need to get fit. Wes just down the road has told me he's got loads of boxing gear. Now, believe it or not, I used to go boxing for years. Monday night circuit training, Tuesday night's boxing. It was the one thing where I was genuinely, this might seem hard to believe, really fit. So maybe if Wes has got all the boxing gear, you need to get back on it and do some proper rocky training. Yo, Adrian! I don't understand what is going on today. Right, where is that? You might be wondering what I'm getting out. I've got this. 
big contraption. And that's a carpet cleaner. Why would you need that, Tony? I'll tell you why I need it, because upstairs, the dog has decided to be a little bit sick. I don't know what's wrong with him. He seems all right now. He's not eating all day. He's not had any chews. I wonder what was wrong with him. His dumpage outside, which I've also got to clear up. Looks fine. You all right, Ogie? You all right, darling? All right. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Jesus, this is heavy. Hang on. I've got to work out how the carpet cleaner works. I've cleaned up the dog sick. I just need to go over it, so let's try and get this sorted. Okay, listen, we need to start again. I've had a bit of a mope, everyone does it. So I'm gonna start again. This morning was so positive, do you know why? And I have, can't believe I haven't said it. I might have mentioned I went to see something last night, a certain movie with David Brent, Ricky Gervais. So I sent a tweet out, I bought his new album, and a tweet just said I'm gonna be listening to this today. Then I got an email that said this, check it out. Can you see that? Ricky Gervais likes your tweet. Ricky Gervais likes your tweet. So I was made up with that. The Ricky Gervais likes something I tweeted about. I'm a big fan. It's all about Ricky Gervais these last couple of days, isn't it? And then things started to just nosedive and that's why I feel, a, but no more. Positive Tony. Positive Tony. I've just cleaned the carpets because the dog was sick and I'm just gonna go out and clear up the dog poo. Positive Tony. So this vlog is meant to be following my life on a daily basis and so far pretty much 97% of everyone watching this or people watching this, the dog's not very well. They know me as Happy Tony. You all right mate? What's the matter? I've put your dinner down, do you want me to put it down again? You've got chews in your bed and you've got your dinner down. There's nothing else I could help you with. Do you know what? For the sake of everybody, we're going to do this again, but we're going to do it tomorrow because I'm having one of those. I'm having one of those days. I don't want to make vlogs that bring people down. Personally, just I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be happy Tony. And that today is really difficult. I've got to nip out again, so I need to go and buy some, what I like to call, <laughs> tickets. Other people call it toilet roll. The dog's back. So, Gemma will be home later. Maybe that's what I need. The love of a good, strong woman to walk in this door and say, Tony, shut up. I know people are having worse days than this, so I hate to have a bit of a whinge. But this is my daily vlog. And I wouldn't be true to myself and true to you that have subscribed if every now and then I wasn't a bit, huh. Today's one of those days. But tomorrow's a new day and everything's going to be fine. Maybe I just need to go and chill out a little bit. Yesterday I said this is the best week of my life. There's no reason why today should be any different. So I'm going to go and relax. I'm going to go and smile. I'm going to go and enjoy myself by buying toilet roll. Turning the camera off and having a bit of me time, not in a dirty way. I'm going to try it all over again tomorrow. I'm sorry. Thanks for subscribing. Be good to each other. Love each other. I'll see you tomorrow.